members at LEQ. <laughs> um, we are so excited. So we're just going to take a, just a few seconds, do some housekeeping, make sure it actually is live. What's going on? Just a little housekeeping here and there, you know, new stuff. We're yeah. not used to doing, the, you know, you normally have summer here for us. <laughs> she normally got us going here. All right, so, so let's just check it, make sure we're live. You guys let us know if we're there. I think so. Okay, so we are so excited to try something different, right? Right, that's us. We are so excited to try something different, so. Something different is definitely the thing. Uh, yeah, we'll go with that. Well, you know, Corey had this idea to come after hours, and so our last live, we asked you. Y'all heard that? I can't hit y'all. Y'all heard that? She said, my idea. Y'all, she's giving me credit. I know. Go ahead. Well, credit when credit is due. <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so he had this idea about going after hours, and I was like, yeah, I'm not sure a lot of people will be watching. They got so much things to do. And he's like, no, we're going to ask, right? Yeah. So we asked in our ask live. We had an overwhelming response, 7 p.m. Central Standard Time, out of the times we gave. And so we're doing it, and we're excited, and we decided, and I told him, I said, if I have to be up here at 7 o'clock, mm -hmm. I am in my PJs, mm -hmm. right? So let's sure. go show them our PJs. Oh, I'm gosh. so excited about she this. She is in love with these PJs, y'all. It's crazy. Go ahead. All right, you come over and show yours, because yours are super cute. So we're going to model our PJs here. And I don't know if you can see my <laughs> socks, but I even have socks that say love. Can they see my socks? Yes, they can see your socks. Ooh, now let's show you. Come no, on. No, I'm all right. I look like a beach <laughs> whale, y'all. Y'all know, well, if you catch me on my couch at my house, I have t-shirts that are three sizes bigger than they need to be. And I got my Nickelodeon pants on, nice yeah. and soft and stretchy. He and loves then, Nickelodeon. I do. And then I got my poker socks on. There you go. So we are ready. Yeah. So we're a team here. We hope that you're in your PJs too. Yes, yes, yes. Let us know where you're watching from tonight. Yes, please tell us where you're watching from tonight. This is going to be a little different than what we do. We want to engage with you guys a lot. We want to talk. We're going to like ask questions to engage, have a drink and a snack together, and then we're going to go over and show a technique. Yes. Um, so let's do that. Well, let's talk about kind of where the techniques are coming from first. Okay, yeah, that's a good idea. I think that's where we need to start. Um, so throughout the next couple of weeks here at After Hours, what we're going to be focusing on is designs by uh, Designs with Lines by Pam Clark. Yes. Uh, so we carry and we're the exclusive distributor Correct. for mm -hmm. those. Um, and so, so and producer now. And producer, yes. Yeah, yeah it, it is ours. And so. so, and we are going to be going through all the different books and stencils and everything that, like that that come in that set. Yeah. Because there's a lot of very, very good, useful tips, tools, design ideas for both beginner, intermediate, and advanced yes. long arm quilters and for uh, domestic machine quilters exactly. as well. Exactly. So whether you are um, computerized, yes, freehand, or free motion, we're going to be showing you stuff along the next couple months that are going to just really give you, like you said, basic to advanced. Free hand or free motion. You're talking like free motion this way, free yeah, hand this way? Yeah, I, I heard see. there's two different things. I see, I see. She's been right? doing some Tell studying. Me, is it, yeah, so we have free hand uh -huh. and free motion, right? Uh huh. Okay, I know we do. Okay, all right, <laughs> yeah, okay, glad you know. Okay. Mm. <laughs> anyway, um, so the book that we're going to be focusing on tonight is going to be Triangle Tango. Yes. Because um, I don't know if y'all know, I love flying geese. I have a thing for them. Anytime I go do a class, if you've been in a class with me, you know I always bring out a flying geese pattern. I have a thing for them. I don't know what it is. Um, so it's a, why are you looking at me like that? Well, I was just thinking of something new that we should be doing. See, I'm like, I'm already past this, so. <laughs> Excuse well, no. me. I just like. I'm going to go back to being comfortable and real relaxed. You're on a whole nother ball game. It's fine. <laughs> I'm right here. I'm with y'all. <laughs> She's over there. It's no, fine. I am with you because what I'm thinking is that because this is so fun, you know what? If if it's your birthday when we're live, then we want to sh give you a shout out, and we know it's Leanne Livy's birthday today. Woo so shout out, Leanne! Happy, Happy birthday. birthday! Okay. Anyway, now we can go. And if it's your birthday, let us know. We want to give you a shout out. Yeah, you were on a whole different. I know. I was. I like, thought she was like different design idea. No, she was on another island. <laughs> I'm right oh. here. Well, she I was, am, whoa, I am thinking about another island right now. Uh, fair. She's thinking about being on the island right now. She All wants right. to be on a beach. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to be focusing on Triangle Tango tonight. Um, going through a couple of different freehand designs. We'll go over to the machine, do a couple of different techniques together. Because, um, I, I mean, I really enjoy freehanding, but I'm also still trying to build up that confidence with it like many other people are as well. Yeah, exactly. Well, me too. I mean, I really don't know. I can do a loop-de-doo. I can do a loop-de-doo. Go ahead and have a little sip of your coffee. I can do a loop de doo. I'm having hot chocolate. Oh, Thank hot you. chocolate! Oh, yes. look at you. Business. <laughs> um, 
Anyway, so yeah, I can do, I like, I want to learn too. So I want to learn along with you so that maybe I can do some quilts. I've done a couple. It's been a long time. Really? Two, couple, no, exactly, two. That is such a, that is why I did that one. That's there. I've done that in Where the Where were you headed with that sentence? I don't know. Yeah, <laughs> I think you know that you caught yourself because you the, the people were here. I see. I was like, oh, yeah, okay, see what I'm she fine. does to me when y'all aren't on camera. Hmm. <laughs> That's fine. I'm fine. Everything's fine. Looks great. <laughs> look like a beach whale right now with this oversized <laughs> t-shirt, but I look great. We had like, when we decided to do this, we were like, we have to run over across the street because we're across the street from a Walmart. Mm -hmm. And we decided we're going to just grab some PJs. Mm -hmm. So we went and grabbed some PJs um, and we were trying to find a shirt for him because, you know, guys PJs, they really only have the bottoms. They don't really have the tops. They don't have with PJs. Them. And so I'm like, you got to find. So we found a t-shirt, you know, cost effective t-shirt. I'm like, it's going to fit. He's like, it looks huge. I'm like, no, it's going to fit. Yeah, it's a little big, but you know what? It'll when it washes, it'll shrink, right? No. Yeah, it will. No. <laughs> Lies. Lies. <laughs> Lies. Anyway. So we have all kinds of people. So thanks. Hello, hello. Have, yeah, all thanks from all over Michigan, us. Washington, Virginia, Missouri, Texas. Party. All kinds. Yeah. Kick okay, so. up your feet, chill, relax with us. Yeah, this is what this is about. We yep. really just want to kind of relax and chill with you because just that's what we're here for, right? And then okay. do some educational and stuff. And then too. do some educational stuff too. Yeah. Okay. So to get you guys in the mode and in the set, we had we thought, you know what? Grab your drink if you already have something. Corey's got his hot chocolate. I've got my water. Um, and then grab you a little snack. You know, we all have to have a little snack. It's fresh from Corey's bakery. Not. Yeah, fresh from <laughs> across the street. That's what that is. <laughs> We did say that we are gonna like try to bake something. And oh my bring gosh! It. Yes, y'all tell her in the comments that this is funny. She wants to go home and let's go live, and she wants to bake stuff with y'all. Well, like not really like live doing that, but like have fun with it. So you know, we'll do stuff with quilt blocks and then turn them into cookies and do stuff with. I think it'll be fun. Yes, it'll be fun. <coughs> I'll let you have that one. But that's not where I was going. Where I was uh -huh, going uh -huh. is that we should have a bake good every time, mm. right? I see, I see, I see. you cook the next one, I cook this one. Uh-huh. Right across the street, cook. Yeah, right across <laughs> the street. <laughs> so, anyway, grab your drink, grab your snack. We're going to take a little bite, and then we are going to ask a question. Actually, we'll ask the question first, so we have time for it to, um, we're going to have to get a monitor or something so we can read that. I'm blind already. Look, that's like I have to look like this because it's so tiny. It's like, I'm getting old. Can't relate. Can't relate? Well, you're mm. making me old. No, I'm not. You're <laughs> making me old. <laughs> so, okay. So the question we're going to, okay, number one, first off, our motto, what's our motto? What is our motto? Relax. Relax. Enjoy. Enjoy. And laugh. And laugh. So that's our motto that we've come up with Our after hours is relax, enjoy, and just laugh. See, I had another good one. What? No, this is, this but is you good. Can, that's a good one. That's a really good one. I liked it. I had a funny one. Well, we have like, like 2.0. Really okay, we have a 2.1 later. Yeah, okay, we'll yeah, do that yeah. one later. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So with that, we wanted to, we want you guys to engage with each other, talk to each other, respond on each other. I know, we, we, before we even hit the live button, y'all were going crazy in those comments. Yeah. That was so much fun, asking yeah. each other things about machines and whatnot. Yeah, that's awesome. So keep engaging and keep talking. And this is another thing. So we, none of us have really gone anywhere too far in the last, what, six weeks, eight weeks, two months, almost, things like that. Where would you want to go? Social right? distancing. Social, Social distancing. <laughs> six feet. Where would you want to go? If you could go anywhere right now and travel anywhere, where would you want to go? So put that in the comments because I want to talk about some of those places. And let's dream together, right? Corey, while we're waiting, where would you want to go? Where would I want to go? Like if you could travel anywhere right now. Well, think about based on your budget. <laughs> oh, it's not unlimited budget? No. Oh, well, that's not fair. All right. It so can be. Okay, you going can Going home, that's where I'm going to travel. <laughs> okay, um, now unlimited budget. Okay, unlimited budget. <laughs> I would definitely want to go to Europe. I've, I've never been to Europe before. Yeah. And I've always wanted to go. Um, yeah. And so I want to go through Europe because they have just beautiful architecture and amazing history. Of course, I want to go to Milan, the fashion capital of the world. Yes, in yes. In my Nickelodeon pants. In your Nickelodeon pants. They won't That's judge right. me. It's fine. We got <laughs> Mexico and Jamaica. Oh, to a quilt show. Yeah, we haven't had fair. one of those in a while. We That's fair. We haven't had one of those in a minute. Those have been kind of gone for a while. Yeah. Um, the Bahamas, your brother's on China. <laughs> Hi, Ryan. Hi, Ryan. <laughs> Thanks for watching, sweetie. Um, Alaska, what? Barking, sweetie. He probably just turned it off he now. Okay. <laughs> he's like, they know who I am. Yeah, he's 15. He's like, I'm not doing that. Um, so I see, I have a lot of people that relate to me, right? 
What, I want to go to the beach. Oh, yeah, she doesn't want to go to the beach. I love the beach, like a really pretty, just relaxing. I don't want to be a one that there's lots of tourists at where it's noisy, and I want to be a relaxing okay, one. Okay, what kind of beach? You know, if I was to stay local, like in the U.S. area, it would be like Monterey, California area, because I okay. love that area, um, or to Hawaii, because I, I love Hawaii. A beach on Hawaii. Mm -hmm. But can't get there anyway. <laughs> what? Were you but thinking that Hawaii wasn't local, U.S.? No, no, no. Or Hawaii. That said oh, local. Oh, you said or. Okay. I was like, um, no, Hawaii is a part of the United Hello. States, Diana. I know my geography. I aced that class. Okay, back in 1862. Whatever. <laughs> <laughs> we won't even say how long it's been, but it wasn't 1862. Facts are facts, America. Um, so, let me see. If it was not local, it would probably still be a beach somewhere like Fiji or... You know, oh, something CG, like that. Yeah. Something yes. I just haven't been to, so I've shared. Cool. Oh, Leanne says she would come to McKinney, Texas to see us. My heart. Oh, I know. That was Thank sweet. You. But England, Scotland, Wales, there's just so much. England. Who said England? Let's go. Yeah, Rita Stone. All right, England. Rita. Let's go. We're going to go travel. <laughs> <laughs> so this is so fun, yeah, guys. So, for sure. Okay. Thanks for engaging us. We're going to do stuff like this every time. We're going to just talk and goof, snack. Mm -hmm. Come up with another question so you guys can talk to each other and engage with each other as well. Hopefully make some new friends after the fact. You mm -hmm. know, maybe you guys have some interest and in maybe you want to go the same place. For sure. Whether it's the going to a beach or going to a quilt show. Right. You know, things like that to engage. Um, and in the meantime, and now, now that we are all on vacation in our minds. In my mind. Okay, we're, let's just take a minute to think. We're all on vacation in our minds. Now we're going to go back and watch Corey quilt and teach me. No so pressure. So then this is the laughing part. No pressure. No <laughs> pressure at all. All right, let's go. All right, let's go back there and see what we can do. Okay. Do -do -do. Okay, so back here at the machine, I already have some flying geese um, just stitched out with just some regular thread on solid fabric. I wasn't going to piece every single one of these things together each week. So I just kind of stitched it out just so you would have an idea, and then I'm going to be quilting it with some lime green fabric, or fabric. Fabric. Grace. You're it's after so hours. It's got, I'm going to be quilting with fabric. Watch me. I guarantee you. I can do it. So you did not want a piece? No. I did not want a piece. I understand. Did you want a piece? She didn't want a piece either. Heck no. So <clears throat> this book, this is the one we're going to be working on today, is going to be trying. Oh, I have an idea. I have yeah. an idea, though. <laughs> if, if I piece. Mm -hmm. They can learn how to like how not how not to do it how not to do it mm -hmm. number one and how to quilt a qu how to make it beautiful how to make something really bad beautiful that That'll might be, be a good segment because I just your Mother's Day quilt that okay was, go was, ahead Corey sorry anyway um, so within this book there are pages and pages and pages of different um, different flying geese different triangle designs that you can do and the bottom section will show you what the final you know idea is going to look like what the final design is supposed to look like while on the top section it's going to give you where you need to start and then the arrows to follow and you can go all the way through so like for this one you're going to do all the half square triangles first all the geese first and then you would come back in later and do the sky so the way i have these geese going i have them going the opposite way of this book so we're just going to fold it and flip over here <laughs> so it looks this way and we're going to be starting right here in the middle. Now, if you can see on this book, there's kind of a line that darts right through the center. Can I see that? Can down? You go down a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Okay. Sorry, I wasn't You're doing good. my job. You over weren't here. doing your job. Too busy on that phone. I That's know. what she does, y'all. All right, so there's a line that darts right through all the center of these, and that kind of gives you a reference point to follow when you're doing, for instance, these loops. So, what I want to use is I want to grab my ruler and a chalk pencil. I love a good chalk pencil. So, to, so with a ruler. Mm hmm. Um, shouldn't you have edge. an extended base on? Well, I'm not quilting with it. Oh, okay. But All you right. could use. Oh, good, 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 good. Who's yeah. teaching this? I know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, so with this ruler, I'm just going to use it as a marking tool. So any type of straight edge you can use. I'm just going to use this one. And I want to use this just so I can take my chalk pencil and put a nice smooth line right through the center of all those just to have a marking. And then I can erase it later once I'm done. So let me get a little closer here. And let's bring up our book and let's go ahead and trace this out just so you have the idea with me so looking at our book and looking at this, this is why i love this chalk pencil let's bend this 
I'm going to take this, I'm going to start right here. This is our starting point. And then the way this traces is we go out like this, and then we come back this way, and we come back this way, and this way, and this way, and this way, and exit. Okay. Now, if you want to take those loops a little further than they are in the book, that's perfectly fine to fill up all that space. You can do that for sure. And then you'd just be doing that all the way down. And then we'll come back and do the sky in just a second. So we'll work on the geese right now. So I'm going to roll over here and pull up my thread. And I'm doing this in regulated mode. I'm doing 12 stitches to the inch. If you don't have a stitch regulator, that's perfectly fine. You can do that. I would, I would lower your speed when you're first getting you know, the hang of it, and then you can speed it up. <clears throat> so let's start this up and see what I can do. So we're going to go open, cross over, and back. Making those loops a little bit smaller. And exit right out there. So now we're going to do the same thing. This time I'm going to do it without the chalk. Look at me. This way. This way, this way, this way, and exit. Filling up that space. Keeping those loops on the side, and I'd exit right there. So that's going to be our geese. Pretty simple. Let me pull up my thread real quick so we can look at the sky. Love it. You looking at questions? Oh, no, I was just trying to make sure to figure out how to get your arm out of the way. Oh, sorry. That's no, okay. We'll, we'll show them afterwards, yeah. Yeah, we'll <laughs> show them afterwards. Okay, so that's going to be the inner part of the geese, and you can do that very fast all the way through these. If you have a border of these, you can finish this like nothing. It's super easy, super fun, a really nice design. Now, for the sky part, you can see that we're working with these loops and come in. There's a little bit of a small one right here. That kind of gives it a different look, a little bit of a different texture. Uh, also gets the viewer's eye or your eye looking at it a little differently as well. If you wanted to fill those up and kind of raise the bar all the way up with loops, you can do that for sure. It's completely up to you. This is just giving you that idea. So we'll come in with our chalk pencil just so you have the start. So we'd be starting right here in the corner. Come out, do a loop, do a loop. And this one I'm going to be raising the bar. So I'm going to go all the way. And then you'd come out right there. And then you come here, start with a small loop, a little bit of a larger loop, a little bit of a larger loop, much larger loop, and head back out. Okay, so let's do that real quick. I come in with a small loop, a little bit of a larger loop, a little bit of a larger loop, and a little bit of a larger loop, and out. Okay, let me okay. lower. I need to go a little bit lower. Okay. Sorry for the vibration, people. <laughs> I know, I'm making... There we go. Better? Yeah, just so I can see a little bit better. Okay. So, still continuously stitching, because if your needle's not moving, you're not quilting. So, you want to keep moving as much as you can. And so, with this one, I'm going to start it back up. Small loop. A little bit of a larger loop. A little bit of a larger loop. A little bit of a larger loop. And head back out. And I would do that all the way down. So I'm going to do these for this next one as well. So a little bit of a, a small loop, a little bit of a larger loop, a little bit of a larger loop, a little bit of a larger loop, and head back out just like that. So you would do this all the way. Now you can come back backwards as well. So you would do the stitch in the ditch. Now granted, I'm using a very contrasting thread right now, and I would want to have a ruler base on. But I can do the stitch in the ditch along this and hot dog. I might be putting this in the Houston show. Yeah. <laughs> Just like that. And you would work your way backwards. Now, instead of starting with a small loop, you're going to start with a much larger loop and go to go small. So we're going to start with our large loop first. So we're coming out. And if you want to trace it, you can. Just so you have the idea. Large See, if, loop. So if I, had, if I had the chalk pencil, I think I could do this. Yeah. Well, the chalk pencil, the, you, you, you have to have a chalk pencil. Yeah. I mean, it, it just makes it so much easier and gives you just an idea to follow. Now, granted, you can see I didn't even touch it at all, but it gave me the motion to follow. And if I yeah. even want to draw little arrows to say this is the direction you need to go, because somebody's got to give me direction. I don't know what's going on half the time. <laughs> so we'll start there. So starting with a larger one, a little bit of a smaller one, a little bit of a smaller one, smaller one. Go here. Large loop. 
little bit of a smaller one, a little bit of a smaller one, a little bit of a smaller one, and head out. So we have a couple questions after you finish that. What's up? Do that, take that, and a little bit of a smaller one, and head back out. There you Just go. Just like that. You're the flying geese, and then... Yeah. So then, um, we had a question. What marking tool would you recommend for a whole cloth in snow? A whole cloth in snow. So like a white whole cloth, basically? That okay. we're talking about maybe we'll go with that i'd I'm go with the sure. snow color so white um honestly i would still use i can still use a chalk pencil they have different colored chalk pencils also we have something on the market it's called pounce powder mm -hmm. and there's blue pounce powder and you can use that as well as a good marking tool um i don't know if your machine has it um, some machines have a black light built on so if you're doing white on white you can see that chalk really nice on that white fabric um, so I have my, I have a black light, but if you don't have that feature and that's okay, I would do um, some type of blue marking tool that easily erases. Yeah, so and also <coughs> another question was, is it true that when you do a lot of quilting, it makes your quilt a little bit stiffer? For sure, yeah. If you do really, really dense quilting, this one right here you see is a little bit more open. You could have gone to two loops here to make it a little bit more open. Um, it also has to do with the type of batting that you use as well. There are certain battings um, that you can quilt up like crazy and it'll still lay nice and be really nice and comfy like uh what's that batting called what's it called help me help me the uh, cotton wool or the wool no not the cotton wool the tuscany supreme oh yeah that one. oh yeah that it's one. A, that, that's 100 percent cotton without a scrim and you can quilt that thing up like crazy and it's still just going to drape lovely yeah but it is and it, it is true but in like overall yeah. yes the more the more you quilt the stiffer the quilt will be yeah and the more shrinkage you'll have because shrinkage is a real thing y'all yep it sure is trust me <laughs> so how do you get the the chalk off um, the chalk you're using off of the quilt. Um, so chalk pencils also have an eraser and you can just erase it right off. Now granted this is a much older eraser <laughs> but I can just erase that right off. Um, also it'll come off in the wash um, depending on if you, what pounce powder you're using. If you decide to go with pounce powder um, you can either steam it off or that'll get washed off as well. Yeah and in this series that we're doing for a while we're going to be showing some of the pounce powder and things like that as well. Yeah. So Let me grab my, I think this, oh here we go. Got a newer one. That's better. A new eraser that hasn't dried out. <laughs> <laughs> then that just erases right off the fabric. This takes a little bit back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Um, but if you're just using it for that first initial marking, then you'll be good to go. And it easily comes off with that first thing just like that. Okay. So let's show another design in the flying geese. Okay. Maybe one that kind of accents the flying geese. Kind of accents the flying geese? Yeah. You want to do this next one? Do I want to do it? Oh. Well, I mean, I'm going to do it. Okay, actually. thank we you. Can go to the next <laughs> we can do this next one. Same loop these in the background, okay, since we have that initial, that kind of technique going. Um, and we'll do this, that kind of just kind of goes with the flow of the triangle. Yeah, and you have to remember these are not piece, and so if it was an actual piece flying geese, you would see the different designs. Oh, for sure. Yeah. Probably wouldn't be using this high of a contrasting thread either. So I'll move down a little bit so she can move as well. And let's go our markings down the center just so we have our halfway points to follow. So take my chalk pencil and lightly using my straight edge and that chalk pencil, chalk it down so I have that halfway mark throughout. And I'm going to be focusing on this next design. This is going to be on page three. We're just slowly moving through. And this one's going to be starting up here at the top portion. And you're going to kind of arc in to your halfway point. So I take this. And you can do a deep arc so it fills up that whole size. So deep arc and come up just like that. And then you're going to bounce back from that, staying within your geese or your goose, goose, geese, <laughs> whatever. And I'm going to do a half piece here, bounce back, and do a half piece there. Okay. And that way it's going to allow me to do that side. Now, with the way this design is made, you're going to be doing this whole top section first, and then you actually come back and do the other section backwards. That's the way this design goes, so it stays continuous. So you'd be actually be stitching this one continuous. Okay, let's give it a shot. So you could do it that way. Um, you could also, instead of doing it continuous, you could also do it a little bit of a different way. I would probably do it this way, actually, instead of doing continuous. Let's do a deep arc first. Look, where's my good chalk? Here we go. Looking at a different design. Just going on the fly. That's what we do. <laughs> Let's erase that out. So do that first deep arc. Come to your point. Do another deep arc going on the way out. Okay. And then on the way back, 
do the halfway point to that piece to there, halfway to there. Yeah, that might be easier to Just flow like that. too. So you can, work, you can go with the flow on there and then do a continuous loop-de-loop -loop here. So we do, and for this one, instead of doing four loops, let's just do three. So a little bit of a loop there, a little bit of a loop there, a little bit of a loop there. We're back at our point here to where we could do that deep arc. Okay. All right, let's Ready? give it a shot. Give myself some arrows so I can follow it. Never hurts to have arrows. All right, so here we go. Starting it up, deep arc up to that center point. On your way out, halfway, halfway. And then we'll do one loop D, two loop D, three loop D. There we go, that one wasn't as high, it's okay. Um, also, if you'll notice, I'm stopping with my needle in the down position. Anytime you do free motion quilting, it's really nice to have it stop in the down position. That way the machine doesn't drift away from you, but you also know where you stopped. Ask me how I know. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna start with that deep arc again, coming up to our center point. So deep arc, deep arc on the way out. Halfway, halfway, and then we'll do one loop D, two loop D, three loop D, just like that. So you do that all the way down, and then you can come back and do your loops to fill them in. Okay, let's see. Let's find another design. Oh, Diana's bored with my designs. <laughs> no, I was trying to think of one that would like accent, like not what doesn't have loop Ds. Oh, no one likes the loop dies. I see. Well, That'd that be one. fun. Yeah, let's do that one. We'll do this one. <coughs> All right. So if we're looking at our book here, <coughs> we've got to follow our start and end point. So we're going this way, this way, coming up with the curl out, doing a curl back, and then we'd follow back to the center. So let's kind of mark that out here. So starting in our center, this would be our starting point. We'd come out here to where my machine is at right now. Come back in and go up to our halfway point. Drop down and do a curl. Come back, drop down and do a curl this way as well. Come back, deep echo, deep echo, deep arc. Back to that point right there. Oh, that's good. So you would do that and then you would come do these other curly cues once you're done. Yeah, that looks good. So that would follow all the way. So what we're going to do is I'm just going to come down the ditch here. Let's see how I can do it without a ruler. Oh, not bad. <laughs> all right. So we're going to go this way. Up to our halfway point. Drop down and do a curly cue. And come up. Drop down and do another curly cue. And come back up point just like that yeah that looks good you like that, that one more yeah i do good i can come up and put another curly cue in here if i wanted to as well yeah come up and do a little curly cue right there as well All right. so then for the side pieces i'm just going to follow the ditch back up again so for those side pieces you would do kind of just one small curly cue Go all the way back in and do a larger curly cue. So let's come in, small curly cue, back, larger curly cue, and back. Yeah, and you so could then follow the, you can do your stitch in the ditch with that. Mm -hmm. Small, large, stitch in the ditch, small. That's actually kind of cute. I like that. Yeah, I really like that. I like that, that with a little curly cue right there. Yeah. I'm going to do it again. How are we doing on and comments? It's really or not that, like I mean, that? She, we have. They think it might be a little complicated, but I think when you use the once you have your the pencil and the you, movement down, you get down, your chalk pencil. You get yeah. the movement. The book has the arrows for you. That was a lovely halfway point. Yeah, the books the straight have edge. The book, <laughs> all the books we have will have the directions and arrows in there for you. Yeah, and you just practice. You can practice on paper first before you go over. That's what's nice. I love these books because they have the arrows and directions for you. Curly cue. Point. Go up, I'm gonna come in and add another curly cue. And do it just like that. Fun. That was so cute. I like that one. Yeah. I'm gonna do it up here again. That was fun. Well, let me try. I'm gonna try. Oh, ho, ho. I'm gonna try She's that. I think brave. I can do that. So don't do it for me. That oh, okay. That one I think I can okay. do. Okay, <laughs> all right. She thinks she can do the side piece. All right, let's see how that works out. Exactly. We might get the side piece and I might be right back down or up.
right back down or up. <laughs> <laughs> okay, under the spotlight here. Yeah, isn't it fun? Hold on, let me move this out of your way real quick. Let me come over there. Whoa, 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 whoa. Sorry, 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 you're okay. sorry. You're okay. Get comfortable. I can set the camera whenever you're comfortable. Um, I'm, I'm looking at the directions here. I want to see. Okay, so you guys, if I can even master this at all, it's not complicated. It really isn't. It's actually a lot of fun. Okay, so I'm going to try it. We'll see how it goes. It's going to not look like his, but... <laughs> all right, so we're going to go... Oh, I went backwards, didn't I? It's okay. It's all right. Keep going. So take it all the way down, okay. just like that, and then come up and do a small one. There you go. Okay, Good. with practice. Well, it's not bad. At all. It's a, it's just not. Don't once you if you if you get up here, don't get in your head. It's okay. I got in my Use head. that and go backwards. Yeah, you got in your head right there. You're like, wait, wait, no, keep going. Don't get in your head about it. Well, the geese start flying backwards. The geese start <laughs> flying backwards. We got a problem. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so how so to come over here? Would you just do stitch in the ditch back? To come over here just to play or you could you do stitch in the ditch back i would honestly do all of those side ones i would do all the sky there first and mm -hmm. then i would come and do the sky this way i'm gonna try to do a sky the more the more in the stitch in the ditch that's when you get to be a little bit different so, so over here right okay yeah hold on we losing you on the camera hold on as you were though keep going You did it backwards. I did it backwards. That's okay. That's all right. That is okay. Okay, I You're might making need it unique. I, I this is why it's freehand. You did that. You did that on purpose. I might need the chalk pencil. <laughs> yeah, she might need the chalk pencil. All right. Maybe I'm. Maybe maybe I'm going backwards in my head. Let me think. So that small one first. Yeah. Small maybe that's curly what I need Q. to do first. Maybe that's what my problem is. And then do a large curly. That, there it is. That makes more sense. Okay. Small to large. See. Oh, that's a big difference. I'm feeling confident. Just like that. Okay, I can do that. Okay, okay. So, I, when I did large to small, I was really in my head. But yeah. when you do small to large, well, I like you. That I like your open curly cue here too. Like mine got mine's like a deep nested one. Mm -hmm. You had a little bit more openness in it, which gave it kind of more of that flow. Which I like that. I like yeah. how you did that. Oh, that was. Where but was mine? Oh, there was mine. Yeah. Whoops. Sorry. I was like, wait, no, that wasn't mine. <laughs> so if I for, to draw, so let's do one more. Hopefully, we're not boring everybody. If you guys have any questions, let us know. Or, um, we won't keep you on too much longer. We know you have a life too. So, um, all right. So, what do you? Let me just do one. Well, Every, have, everyone's saying go, Diana. <laughs> They're so proud. I know y'all. It's weird seeing her on a machine, right? So just make a line here. Make a line right through there. Yep. Careful, don't. You don't have to press too hard. Very yeah. lightly with that chalk pencil. Lightly with the chalk pencil. Okay. There you go. And then to do your little things, which way did you do again? So you're going to start in the You can move your straight edge. There mm -hmm. you go. So you're going to start there in that center point. You're going to head. That way? So start with going this loop. So go out and about there. There you go. Right there to that point. And then you come back up to the top. Drop down here and do a curly cue. There you oh, go. Oh, the curly cue. Curly cue. Now for this one, you have to do the curly cue first. So you have to come over here, curly cue, back deep arc deep arc there you go to that point and then go back to the center just like that okay i definitely need arrows a lot of arrows You're doing great that's awesome see you can you can do this too look at this i know if she can do it you can whoa, whoa oh hold sorry on. i'm like hitting knocking the people out hold on all right, so I'm gonna pull the thread up. We'll do these real quick, and then we're gonna go over and ask, answer quite any more questions you guys might have. Yeah. And then you can talk to us. Talk oh, to I love what Rita said. She said, once is a mistake, two or more times is a design choice. Oh, <laughs> yeah, we'll take that. I have just made a new design. There you go. <laughs> that is perfect. Yeah, I need a shirt that says that. We do need a shirt that says that. Is my aunt watching? Aunt Chantelle, make us a shirt. Exactly, I was thinking the same thing. Okay, can you see? I might have to use both hands. Um, let me, I'll come around your, I'll come on around your shoulder here real quick. Just, just like that, that's good. Okay. Yep. All right, here we go. And out, point to there, there you go. Up to halfway, curly Q, slow, take it slow. Sorry. There you go. Curly Q, up to halfway, deep arc. There you go. Just like that. And then come into that center and do a little curly cue there. Look at you! Okay. Y'all gonna see her name hanging in Houston. <laughs> Probably not that. We won't do that. <laughs> we won't take away from those artists. Uh, they do a great job down there. Yeah. All right. So, what, really fun. so should I do one more and then we'll call it a day or? 
Um, do one more and then um, do it to right there and then let me show them making the bend around for if you had a border of flying geese. Okay. And then we can go from there. So can I just go, no I can't, I have to pull up the thread, don't I? Uh, just use the ditch, that's fine. Go down yeah. or up? Go down or up, whatever you want to do. Whatever you're more comfortable with. This is just the sampler piece. Right back up. So up to that point, up to your center. A little close, that's okay. Curly cue. I'll just do a small curly cue. Curly cue's good. Another curly cue. Good. Arc to the bottom point. And then back out. The center, and then up for another curly cue. Well, that just one like is that. so much better. Just a little bit of well, practice. Is all right, all I'll it let takes. you take it from here. A little bit of practice is all it takes. All right. So you, now you know that if I can do it, you definitely can do it. And that is a fact. Because we just made a design choice. Thanks, Rita. <laughs> <laughs> that was funny. Um, all right. We'll do this one real quick, and this will show. We can show our working around the um, border. Let's say if you have a border of flying geese that go all the way around that way, how you can use that ditch to continue on with your design. So we had a question about um, hardtop pencil seems really hard. Uh huh. What would cause that? Just kind of drying out over time. Probably drying out over time. I would always recommend having another one on hand. Yeah. Um, they're pretty cost effective. I have two right here with me right now. Yeah. Um, so I, I mean, or you can sharpen them to me to get that loose yeah, back in there. Um, yeah. Sharpen yeah. Sharpen them as well. Okay. Alrighty. All right. So you've already got halfway marks on for me. So we're starting in the center here. We're going to be working on this one on page 17. And all these books that we'll be showing you are on our website, and at the end we'll give you a special code that you can get a discount on any book that you want. Oh, cool. fancy. Okay, go ahead. Um, I think I'm going to switch up these curly cues. I'm actually going to do feathers on this. Let's see how that works out. So starting here, we're going to start our starting point. We're going to come up and come down. These will be curly cues on the outside here, and then we'll do, you already have one set up there, so I'll just do a little feather there. Okay. So we're going to come up to our center point. Just like that. Come out and do a little curly cue. Come back out and do another curly cue. And then I'm just going to follow my ditch. And for this one, this has us doing these pieces each individually. So you could do that as well if you wanted to. It also looks like you know, another way I could do this faster instead of falling back would be doing our outer sky real quick too. Okay, and I can't really yeah, see. I'll so. do it over here. Hold on. Let me switch that out. That was cute, though. I'm going to switch it out and go do it over here. Make it a little faster. So let me move, and then you can move with me. I'm going to start over here. Get my center marked. So using my straight edge to go all the way down here. With my chalk pencil starting in my center. Do my tie-offs. And I'm going to start this direction, and then I am actually going to come in with my feathers here, and then go do the other direction. Okay. With me? Oh. Do this, and then go back. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come up this way, this way, and then depending on how I want to take it, I can do feathers this way. Getting smaller as I go. Following that ditch back, and since I'm over here, might as well do this side. Filling up that sky. I'm going to follow my ditch back if it's easier. Use your straight edge with the ruler base on. So you can follow in that ditch, do a little bit of stitch in the ditch while you're at it. Come this way. Do a little bit of a curly cue. Come up this way. Curly cue. And bam. All righty. Not bad. Okay. So basically with this one, if you are working on the sky or if you are working with the center pieces, as you're working around the border, do not be afraid to put, to put that ruler base on and use your straight edge and just go up the ditch and over and then find your starting point again. So that way it keeps you quilting as much as you can. It looks great. All right, perfect. Well, that was fun. That was. So we did. We learned flying geese tonight. Yes, we tangoed this evening. We did a, a triangle, triangle tango. tango. Yep. So that gives us kind of just that first initial piece. And let's head back over here and let's see 
what else we've got, if anything. Yeah, so that, that was, was fun. fun. Yeah. That was fun. So hopefully you guys were able to just kind of relax. Hopefully in your PJs, had a drink, got to be able to watch. If you had the book, you were able to follow along. If you don't, you just got a pen and paper, jotted down some ideas. We do have this book and then all of the books. So, Corey, you want to pick up those books kind of just to get it mm -hmm. ready. So we have we have tons of books. So like we said, we're the producer of all these books now uh, of Pam Clark. So we're going to be actually doing stuff out of... Which one are we doing tomorrow? Tomorrow. Well, next week we're going to do this one. So we can talk about this one next week. But, um, <coughs> but basically, just to give an idea, there's tons of books on there. And eventually we will hit an idea in those books. Um, online right now, they are 20% off with a coupon code. Mm -hmm. So if you do want to follow along with us as we go through the next few months, um, you don't have to have the book, but if you want to be able to have it to be able to follow along, jump on there and order some of them. Um, the code is, what was the code again? Oh, After Hours LEQ. So write that down, After Hours LEQ. We'll put it in the comments. Just use that code um, and that'll get you 20% off on any of the Pam Clark books that we're going to show designs and how to do simple techniques for the next few months. Just if, if you see one you like, grab it, and I guarantee you we'll be doing a technique in that book. Let's okay. Show. Move these out the way and put the code down at the bottom of the screen for them. Oh, there you go. I didn't even know you could do that. We're going to see how it works out. <laughs> <laughs> so let's see if I can do that. Boom. Look at that. I'm fancy. Wow. So I put the code at the bottom of the screen right there for you, after hours, L-E-Q. Hopefully I spelled it right. Yeah, I did. Go to <laughs> It is uh, after hours. Yeah. We are. We have worked all day, so. A little bit, a um, little bit. Yeah, but anyway, yeah, pen and paper, great idea. Later down the road, if you want a book, they're there. So. Yeah. So this was just to kind of give you just your initial start. This one didn't require actually any extra stencils. This no. was just having a straight edge and a chalk pencil. Yeah. As we move throughout the season um, and throughout after hours, we will be using other stencils and be showing off ruler bases and different things like that. Yeah, we'll um, teach you how to use the pounds powder with the right. different stencils and how to get designs. And then, you know, we're going to try to do all kinds of little fun techniques. So you saw how we did some basic stuff tonight where he actually showed me how to do it. We're going to kind of do that. We hope that you guys like this. We hope that you will have fun with us. We're going to be in our PJs. You never For know sure. what time we'll have. You never we're, know what we're, we're wearing next week. I know. We're going to have fun with this. Try not to wear the same thing all the time. <laughs> um, where was the one that, well, let's go ahead and talk about what we're doing real quick next week, just so okay. you're ready. Mm -hmm. um, if you're placing your order, I see a few of you in the comments talking about ordering. Next week, we'll be focusing on background designs and shapes. So yes. looking at different background fills mm -hmm. um, and kind of how you can accomplish that around different appliques and different things like that. Yeah. Yeah. That's what, that's what we're going to be discussing next so, week. All of those will be in there. But it, tell your friends, have them join with us. Let's you know, have one fun. One thing I don't think we ever told them. Oh, how to subscribe? Well, no, there's not that. Well, that too. We gotta worry about that. But also, what's our website? Oh yeah, we do have that. That would be a good. That'd thing. That'd be a good thing. They <laughs> might want to know that. We were just having so much I know, fun. So much fun quilting. We didn't even think about it. I know. Um, so the website is longarmsupplies.net, and we will definitely get that in there as well. He's changing it, so we'll put longarmsupplies.net. That's where you can go. Just look under Pam Clark's books. Um, under the pattern section and you will find everything yeah. and we have all kinds of stuff there so all kinds of stuff yeah and the link um, is in our the comment section below or in the description below fun the fun, link for this fun, book. fun, yeah. fun. anyway so uh, yeah so don't forget if you haven't subscribed subscribe to the channel um, you can be notified hit the little bell it'll notify you when we go live but we plan on doing these on Thursday night at 7 p.m. as mm -hmm. long as you guys are watching and loving and having fun with us and like how we try to be goofy and just have a good time, right? For sure. Um, so thank you guys so much for being with us. Yes. This was fun for our first round. Hopefully yeah. you liked it as well. Um, let us know in the comment section if you have any other questions after this is no longer live. Yeah. Because um, we still check those comments. We're yes, still we there do. for you. Yep. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, I think I'm ready to go hop on the couch and fall asleep. I am it's ready It's been to go a day. It has <laughs> been a long day. Me too. So you guys relax. Have a good night. And we will see you next Thursday night. All right. See ya. Bye. Bye.